And um, we should tell the story about how I rummaged to get your sweater. You know, your... I've, I've told, I still have that. I haven't, I haven't, Pam sent me the, the rich sweater from Lucky Louie. <laughs> no, this disgusting, you don't understand. <laughs> I... Like, I, we, we, okay, Rick Shapiro uh-huh. and Jim Norton and I, like, all of a sudden, they waited nine months. The amount of time it takes to gestate a baby and create one episode of King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> they waited that amount of time to tell us we weren't picked up. That's right. Oh. For Lucky Louie. I remember walking with Louie on like 6th Avenue and him going, we still don't, we still have one more shot. The AEC had talked to Robert Wool, who had said it took them a long time to find out when they were doing something. We would call each other. Jim would call me and go, hey, what do you think? What do you think? You think we're going to get picked up? And I'm like, oh, fuck. I think so. I don't think so. I don't know. And then when it got to be like seven months, eight months, nine months, it would be kind of rude at this point if they didn't pick us up, right? Right. So then they didn't fucking pick us up. And so I was like, where's all our shit? Like, you know, Kim and Louie, we had wedding rings on the show. I had a pair of glasses that, that like, this optician made for me. Um, my That red leather jacket. Uh-huh. There's the sweater. Yeah. Jimmy! You know, Jim wore that disgusting oh, the sweater. Gross brown In sweater. every that... scene but one. <laughs> Of every episode every of Lucky Louie? Every episode, Louis? every scene. Oh, my God. Who's finding these? Is that you? That's killing me. Yeah. And um, also, didn't you wear a thing on your foot? Like an orthopedic? Oh, I got... I, that was for real. I that hurt myself the... for real. <laughs> that was a legit... That wasn't a character choice. That was Jim Norton stepped into a hole walking across the street. Because you had a foot thing on your foot. <laughs> I had that's a foot amazing. thing on my foot. That's right. That was back then. <laughs> but I went... Oh, I still have that MC5 shirt. But um, I went into the storage space because they said, we just threw it into storage and now it's like in general population. I'm like, Jesus, this shit should be in the Smithsonian right. Institution. You loved that show. I loved I loved that show. Yeah. But I predicted it. We predicted what? I said, this show is amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they always, they said that we uh, put canned laughs in. Never. They had to turn it down. People went fucking crazy in the studio. And I remember you said it's like it's like they took a crack house, they they emptied it out into a bus and they brought everybody here. Sometimes (laughs) we would have the craziest audiences and they'd be talking to us. That's right. They would be screaming out. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. And like none of them knew our characters because the, the episodes had never aired. Of course, so they were all learning about all of us in the in that moment, and they still responded. I'm telling you, it was like the the you know those old um, they would do like barn theater with like uh, Mickey Rooney and like all of that. It felt like that. And as somebody who's been acting since you're a little kid. Are you sitting around going like this doesn't happen, guys? It was. I'm telling you, it's still. I love talking about it because it was such a singular time. Yeah. We did two shows on Friday nights. That's right. We would tape. We did. We, we used to tape Thursday and Friday, and then they condensed it to. Friday. That's right. Or we did two shows in a row. It was. It was nuts. Yeah. We were. We 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 started on Monday. We were off book on our feet taping on Thursdays and it was just electric it was electric Ugh, that was the so laughs great. in that studio you, you know that I remember one guy criticized that a canned laughter the laughter's too loud and I'm like there was Louis would like, call he, he explained the whole sweetening process of laughter yeah and how they sweeten it on every sitcom you've ever seen and he wouldn't permit it he would not allow them to sweeten the laugh oh no so if he, a joke he said bomb they it would have it. to turn it down because you couldn't hear it and everybody's like, that's so fucking fake. And it was Never 100% fake. authentic. So what was it that you predicted? I knew that it was going to be something and be meaningful. I knew it was going to make a mark, but it would be like a blip on the radar. I knew we were too soon. But that's what I was going to say, because it's one of those shows that, like, what's unfair about it, and somebody who wasn't on it Look but just it watched us. it, like, <laughs> when you put the DVDs in now and just watch it back, you're like... Holy shit! Like, what, why wouldn't this show have gotten picked up? Because why the critics didn't this show killed have it. A life? We yeah. had a lot of viewers and a lot of viewers, and the critics didn't like it. And um, it's so funny how you know, people like Louis' success now 
He got murdered for this show. I remember. He got fucking killed for Pootie Tang. Oh, and Tang. It, hurt, it hurt him. They it really, did. he was broke after this show. Like, they really fucking beat up Louie. They and were it not hurt his kind. his feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were nasty. Yeah, Pootie Tang was really tough on him. And then this, like, he had just been, and he had just done a pilot before that, St. Louis or something like that. But, I mean, you know... He really, really tried, and he, I mean, this is all his vision. When we did the camera test, the director on the show was like, please tell me you're not going to shoot it on video. Please tell me you're not. And he was like, I want to shoot it on video. And people were like, (laughs) that show looks like fucking shit, and it looks crazy, and it's not right, and they're not doing it right. But, I mean, And why did he want to shoot it on video? He wanted it to feel like a Norman Lear show. Right. Back from that time when he was growing up. And he had a long conversation with Norman Lear, who's one of his idols. And Norman Lear said, you don't think that I had the option of film? Of course I could have filmed my shows. But he chose to shoot his shows on video. And so it was like a warm, comforting thing. 